Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. Two of my favourite colours are black and pink together, and today we're going to make a gorgeous card that features both. We're going to use lots of Anna Griffin goodies, and I want to show you a little trick to be able to save some of your layers uh, for using for other things. Everything I do use, I shall put in a detailed description on my blog. So if in doubt, always check my blog and that will show you the items that I've used and it will give you the names of embossing folders, etc. and die collections that the items have come from. So I don't sell any of the items. I just want to sort of put that out there because I'm asked a lot if I can get people things. I can't. I just do the projects. I'm like you. I'm an Anna fan. I love all things Anna Griffin and... This is my way of just showing um, things that you can do with them. I just like her stuff. I'm just like you. So everything I do use will be on my blog. Plus also I can only use things that have been available in the UK because obviously I can't get hold of them if they haven't been in the UK so I know people ask me to do lots and lots of demonstrations for things that are in the US. I wish I could. Um, but you know, watch this space for things that are new coming from Anna. And um, hopefully you might see them here. So the first thing that we're going to need is our base card. And this is a 7 by 5 inch card. My favourite size. And on our cardometer which is something I've designed and come up with to be able to give you perspective at home after being asked by a lovely lady um, if I could make something to show you what size I'm using because I know across the world you call them different sizes and at least this gives you an idea. So the largest size is the A4 and then we have the A4 folded in half which is the A5 in the UK and across the pond it's the A3. Then we go down to the 7x5 inch and that's the size I'm using today. But then as we go down in sizes, the A6 or the A2 is the A5, A3 folded in half. It sounds complicated but all you need to know is this is the size we're using and it's this one in blue. And it's 7x5 and I'm using a white base card for this. So as always, I'm going to use my trusty bone folder from the Anna Griffin Tool Collection. And I'm just making sure that that crease along the top is a nice professional looking crease. And then we can get started and create something magnificent. So the first thing we're going to do for the inside is we've got a layer that I've cut out of white card and it's actually it's set to rectangle um, set B from Spellbinders that's the size I use to cut my layer for the inside of my cards and it just fits right it's the largest one from set B so look out for some of the details on the Spellbinders projects rather than on Anna's for those but there's no point me fibbing, that's what I use for the inside and it fits perfectly for the 7x5 inch cards. So I've cut that in white cardstock, just general, box standard, normal white. I've tapped a black ink pad around the edge just to take away um, the white from the edge and it makes it look like a false layer. I'll show you what I mean when we get it in. So we'll just position it through the centre of the card, like so. So it kind of makes it look like there's something behind it. Don't get hung up about having to use the same white paper or white card as the white card that you're using. Because tapping that round the edge takes away the difference and it gives it a shadowed effect anyway. So it makes it look very different. So that's our first layer for our inside. Now I'm just going to jump a little bit to the outside. Our base layer for the outside will be a black metallic um, 
layer from Anna. So what I've done is, um, they call it gutting, and I don't like that expression. I've been economical, I've cut the layer to fit the outside, but I've taken away the inside. I've die cut that out, and the die cut section that I've saved is now going to go on the inside. And then I've die cut the centre of that out to be able to create a layer. I've taken it through my Xyron machine so that it's going to stick nicely and nice and flat and I can just position that through the centre and then I've die cut a pink metallic uh, layer which fits into this section so I die cut it using the same die and they're just basic rectangle dies and then I've stamped using one of Anna's 22 clear birthday stamps and I've stamped it in black and that is the insert of our card very nearly finished because I nearly forgot we've got some flowers to add Whew, nearly I've taken one of the double roses now these are embellishments that were in the pretty paintings uh, card making kit from Anna and what I've done is instead of using them as the 3D sticker I've just simply peeled that top away I've taken it through my Xyron and I can use it as a flat sticker like that just to add a little bit of interest I don't know how I nearly forgot those so that just adds that prettiness to the inside you've still got room for your messages not a great long message but just enough for you to and from with love etc and that will match perfectly to the outside of our card now I did say it's going to be black and pink so our first layer is going to be our black layer that we've already spoken about and this was one of Anna's metallic layers in the 7 by 5 inch size and it's the size where I've taken away the inside but it just means that you can get a little bit more from your um, stuff basically because we all like to make our stuff go as far as it can and there's nothing worse than running out of something so right now I'm just see I always stop talking when I get to this bit and I have to stick this down because I want to try and get it straight and I never can because looking through the camera and doing it around the camera it never quite works out to plan so that's my first layer now I know some of you new viewers are going to be thinking well that's a bit odd because you're going to get a dip and I'm going to know that that's like that. And um, I don't really want to do that. Well, that's fine if you don't want to do that. But you see, our next layer sits over that dip, as it were. Covers it over nicely. And you would never know. Now, this is from Anna's Lovely Layers collection. And it will simply fit over our black layer like so and cover that aperture section where we've been economical with the centre so we've created a gorgeous matte and layer effect I trimmed the lovely layer to fit and so now we can add our ornate layer which is cut from Anna's ornate um, frame dies and I've just added a little bit of tape in the middle and I've embossed it as well to pick up all that fine detail so we can add that through our centre of our card and if I got the name of the die wrong I will put the correct one on my blog but I'm sure it's the ornate uh, frame dies cut and embossed dies something like that 
So we've stuck that down. Now don't worry about the tip in the middle because we're going to add um, our sentiment over the centre. So our sentiment is from the Artfully Said stickers and these are vellum sticker and I've actually taken this chalkboard vellum sticker and I've stuck it onto white cardstock and then I've cut a layer to fit from Anna's pink metallic layers and I've taken both of them through the Xyron machine so that I can mat and layer because I'm always asked about making your own sentiments and matting and layering them and then that will fit nicely over the top of our pink and then we can peel both of them away and then we can add it to the centre of our die like so okay so I mean that looks pretty already then we can add our flowers so I'm just going to position them around the sentiment to begin with because I know sometimes we think oh do we like them there or don't we do we want to swap them round because it's okay to be you know creative with them you might think you'd prefer them like this um, I'm going to go the other way actually how we saw them to begin with so these are stickers again from the pretty paintings kit they're just such pretty flowers I think um, I want to use them on so many different things not just in the pretty paintings collection so I'm being a bit naughty using them not from the collection but maybe you've got some left over and you want to use them on other projects so you're not wasting them but I just they're some of my favorite flowers they really are so even though the stickers I'm just adding a tiny touch of glue on the back of them just to help with the stick and you see I'm being indecisive now so I'm thinking because I want to see the sentiment so I'm going to put those up to each other like that and have the flowers like that there we go and then the last flower I think can go down in this corner so we peel the back of it away and again just add a little touch of glue. Now for eagle eyed viewers you'll notice I'm using different glue. I'm trying it out to see what I think because I normally always use glossy accents. But i am just been using um, some tacky glue. Um, a quick dry coal tacky glue so far so good dries clear it's nice it's got no smell I don't think it has oh um hmm, maybe a little bit but it's just a white glue that dries clear so then we can add our bow to finish off our card hmm. and I'm gonna go in that corner just for something different I always go at the bottom but I like to even things out I try and always go symmetrical and that's our card finished and I think that's a pretty card something a little bit different with the pink and black a really cool combination and it would suit any age group would um, the pink and the black it's very striking and I think the background really makes everything else come alive so you could have fun with your flowers. You might not necessarily want to use the roses. You could use um, flowers from the favourite flower sticker collection. You might have flowers left over from um, one of the older kits. And it would work equally as well. But I just think that combination is one of my favourites, black and pink. Stands up nicely. Definitely a mantelpiece pleaser. You would maybe need a little, I don't know, because you've only got the 3D from the flowers. 
I was going to say you might need a little bit of extra room in an envelope, but I, no, I don't think so. So it might need a bit of protecting when you send it, but it shouldn't be any more. Depends where you live, obviously. But that's just such a pretty card. Please share because I, I want to reach as many crafters as I can this year with the projects and hopefully inspire people to just try and be creative and maybe try outside the comfort zone. Or maybe you are an advanced crafter, but maybe you'd never thought of saving the card stock from the middle. Or maybe you've got your own ideas. So just share with your crafty groups and share with your friends. And let's get other people crafting into a hobby that is just you can lose yourself in. So thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.